Nigeria's court has dismissed the case against Olale Kamponle, who is popularly known as Mr. Woodbury. The FBI not too long ago revealed that Woodbury's fraudulent crime activities, which include tricking a Chicago company into sending wire transfer of up to $15.2 million and deceptive moves on companies based in cities across the U.S. The alleged cybercrime scheme alone, according to the FBI, is worth more than $50 million, and the 29-year-old was facing charges boarding on wire fraud conspiracy just for this. According to Premium Times, the U.S. government, through its attorney, had filed a motion requesting that the case against Woodbury be dismissed without prejudice, and a court order issued on Tuesday, July the 21st confirmed that the government's motion to dismiss the complaint without prejudice was granted. So people on social media are asking, did Woodbury snitch on Hush Poppy and their gang to swell things around? I drive a sports car just to prove I'm a real big baller because I made a million dollars and I spend it on girls and shoes. Hello guys, it's Nolan here from African Glitz. As we all know, Mr. Woodbury was arrested in the United Arab Emirates on June 10th alongside popular Nigerian social media big boy Hodge Poppy and 10 others after a massive raid by the Dubai police. He was facing charges boarding on wire fraud conspiracy at the United States District Court in Illinois. The FBI also presented a case on how Woodbury was napped through detailed access from his WhatsApp, I phone and Bitcoin transactions following his 2019 movements. According to recent developments, Woodbury is only going to be indicted by a grand jury on an eight-count charge of wire fraud. The United States government on Monday, July the 20th, fired a motion through his attorney requesting that the case against him be dismissed without prejudice. According to Premium Times, who reached out to Nash, he clarified that the government dismissed the case because they are planning to charge Woodbury with a slightly different crime. And in the long run, there are no difference. The assistant U.S. attorney, Joseph D. Fitzpatrick, added that they dismissed the complaint, but the indictment charge of a count charge of wire fraud is still active and refused to comment on the dismissal of the claim. The court had on June 25th issued an arrest warrant to the FBI regarding Mr. Woodbury's case after a criminal complaint was filed. His first appearance in court was on July the 3rd, after which the preliminary hearing was set for July 16th. Olalekan Ponle was initially facing a sentence of 20 to 30 years in prison if his case involved federal disaster relief funds or financial institutions. In June of 2020, Ali Sadiq, a special agent with the FBI, compiled a criminal complaint document and chronicled how the bureau tracked him down through his online activities and the criminal complaint documents were filed at the court. He stated that Mr. Punle, aka Woodbury, who often adopted the nickname Mr. Kane, which he used to defraud several United States-based companies through business email compromise best schemes and how the scheme compromises legitimate business email email accounts, through computer intrusion techniques or social media engineering, and uses those accounts to cause the unauthorized transfer of companies' funds. Going into more details, he said Mr. Woodbury's activities from January of 2019 up until about September of 2019 was tracked and watched him conspire with others to engage in best schemes to defraud several United States-based companies. These schemes resulted in attempted and actual losses to victims' companies in the tens and millions of dollars. Woodbury, who went by the name McCain, reportedly directed money moles in the United States to open bank accounts in the name of victimized companies. Mr. Sadiq detailed further that the proceeds from the best scheme, ranging from hundreds of thousands of dollars to millions, were then wired by unwitting employees to the bank account opened by Mr. Woodbury's moles, and where he instructed the moles to convert the proceeds to bitcoins, and to send the proceeds of the best scheme to a bitcoin wallet that he owned and operated. These transactions are recorded in the bitcoin blockchain, which makes it hard to trace 
is because the identity of individuals are partially anonymous. Mr. Sadiq also addressed the best scheme by Mr. Woodbury, which involved Chicago companies, where one was defrauded of $2.3 million and the other sent wire transfer totaling of $15.3 million. Preliminary blockchain analysis done by the FBI indicated that the 29-year-old received bitcoins related to the best schemes valued at over $6 million. However, this case by the FBI against Mr. Woodbury has now been dismissed. According to reports, the probable cause of dismissal varies and could be from unavailability of sufficient evidence and improper criminal complaints or charging documents to enough evidence necessary to prove that the defendant committed the crimes. Majority of people on social media can't believe how this is possible. Some are saying that Mr. Woodbury could be snitching on his gang to have the FBI's detailed fraud case erased, or his attorney might be doing something right. Based on this new development, do you also believe that Woodbury might be snitching on his gang? If this is the case since Hush Poppy wasn't granted bail after his hearing, does this mean that he could be facing more than 20 years in prison? Let us know what you think on the comment section down below.